Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about a uh, slept on gym that I was introduced to from another channel. I'll put it in the description. I was, I neglected to actually <laughs> put it in my notes before I started this video, uh, but I'll put that down in there because I never would have known about this fragrance uh, had, it, had I not come across it on his channel. And this one is called Bent Al Sudan. So Ben Al Sudan was released in the 1920s, 1920 uh, to be exact. And there's like an interesting backstory about it. So I'll just briefly go over it. So there was a, a British businessman that was in Khartoum, which is the, in the capital of Sudan. And some, some locals came to him with various raw materials and wanted him to create a fragrance that would be uh, basically popular all over africa so this particular fragrance is considered to be what they call the chanel number no. five uh, of africa because chanel number no. five is so popular uh, in the west for example in in europe and in north america for example and this was a scent that i just really wanted to check out because i heard it was so cheap i knew i would be able to find this because it was mentioned that you know if you knew people that sold like um like in america for example say if you were in uh, Los Angeles, I've lived there, or you're in like Philadelphia or New York, or places where you would have small businesses that would sell African things, shea butter, um, various other things. You, you know the places that I'm talking about. These are the type of places uh, that would sell, um, that might have this type of fragrance, but there are places here that are called like, they're called Atars. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct and I'm not even sure of the meaning because it's very similar to the name for perfume. But what they sell there is like frankincense, myrrh, they sell tea, soaps, all different types of things. Usually it's like a, it's like a herbal shop basically is what you would call it. So I knew I would be able to pick it up there and I ran down um, to the souk down in the city and of course I found a bottle, I picked up a few and they are extremely cheap. Now this one, uh, it you know, since it's such an old fragrance, there's there's no, it's not on any fragrance database. It's not on Fragrantica. It's not on Profumo. Uh, it's not on any of these places for some reason. But from what I found online, the notes in it are jasmine, lilac, lily of the valley, um, woody notes, musk and amber. Now. Of course, it was reformulated from the original to keep up with the like the IFRA um, regulations on it. But and also, since it was first produced in Sudan, now it's mostly produced in Nigeria. The bottle that I have now is actually produced in the UAE. And if you look on in my thumbnail, the thumbnail has the original uh, image. And I believe if you buy it from Nigeria, you would have a bottle that has that original image with the original girl that was on there. But this one uh, has a woman that has a um, a baya on, for example. She has on an abaya and she's been pretty much whitewashed. But um, the, the smell from what I've been told is the same. I was also initially drawn to it because, you know, it's uh, it's a fragrance that, that comes from Sudan. You know, it originated in Sudan. Uh, my wife, she's Sudanese. So I just really wanted to check it out. Uh, she had never heard of it because she wasn't she, she wasn't raised there, even though she's been there. But if you talk to anybody that is you know that lived in Sudan, they know all about it. And so, to me, if I were to describe the scent, I would say it's more of a um, like a floral sheep. And when I first smelled it, it was very familiar to me. It was very familiar to me and it reminds me of Amwaj, I believe Epic Woman. I believe that one. Uh, it's one that's discontinued, and but the notes that are listed on Fragrantica, for example, uh, remind me more of Ubar, which is another discontinued fragrance. Now, if I'm wrong about that first one, I'll, I'll list it in the description, but I believe that's it. Uh, no, not Epic, uh, but to me, Th that is a dupe of this fragrance because it's like a this this bottle is a, a Parfum concentration apparently that you could get it in eau de toilettes or eau de parfum But this does not have any alcohol in it 
and so it's it's straight parfum but i but i love the fragrance so much and it was such a, a cheap price that uh i got enough of them i got me this 40 ml bottle and i just filled up the bottle with it so i can use it it lasts a long time it's it's, it's like a powdery floral i'd call it unisex but it's a more like leaning uh feminine in the scent like i said that woman homage has to have been inspired by this uh, I, if I get a bottle of it again, because it is floating around here, if I get a bottle, I kind of want to get another bottle so that I can compare it to the two and see which one it was. I know Ubar, uh, that bottle that I picked up, I sold it and that is, that's going to be nowhere to be found. But I'm pretty sure that it's the first one that I can't remember because I wore that a number of times and that one was considered a cheaper floral. Uh, this one is a is definitely a good pickup, especially for the price. I don't even want to say how much I paid for it because uh, it was just so cheap. So I'm surprised that it smells so good. It's so rich that, you know, I just couldn't believe <laughs> how cheap it was. So I just wanted to just get enough, not put in a 100 ml bottle, but like a 40 or 50 ml so I could keep it with me. Some people... Uh, you know uh in sudan they may use it for other reasons like um uh, for good fortune or trying to keep away evil spirits or things like that i don't get into too many things like that i just want it for the the perfume reason and this is one that should be in fragrance databases i'm not sure why it's not have you tried uh ben al sudan if not, you should definitely check it out if in your area you have these type of like herbal shops that may have imports from Africa or from the Middle East. It's definitely worth a try. I'm sure you can get on online. I saw bottles like this. This is, I believe, either 12 or 18 ml uh, pure parfum. And it is, uh, I'm sure you could get it for like um, $10, something like that. So a ridiculous deal. It's definitely worth checking out. So let me know in the comments if you've tried Ben Al Sudan, if you like uh, sheeper, uh, floral sheepers or sheeper florals, it's something you definitely want to check out. Uh, I'm sure that women might enjoy it a little bit more than men, but if you're a man that is like into florals, uh, it's definitely one to check out. It's, it's cheap enough to blind buy and not regret it. And I don't think that you would because I, I really do love this scent. It's, it's a good one and I'm so surprised again that it's not on any databases nobody has known about it and it's supposed to be so have been so popular in the continent of africa it's it's for sure popular in sudan that uh, wear it on their wedding day and things like that so just let me know in the comments if you've tried it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace